Hello, and uh, welcome back to Walkman Phones. Today is a special day. I have a new Sony phone to show off. Um, just a little aside before we get started. Uh, Sony is my favorite smartphone manufacturer. They have been for uh, maybe about, I'm almost going on 10 years now. I remember the, the first one I got was when Sony uh, bought out Sony Ericsson, right? They bought out Ericsson's piece of their business. I had a phone called the Sony Xperia Ion on AT&T. And from there, things kind of went south with AT&T and uh, the ma other major carriers with Sony uh, offering phones on their networks. So everything with Sony since then has been unlocked affairs. Um, I got this particular model, the Xperia 5 from B&H uh, unlocked and you can also get it from Best Buy. So yeah, uh, the Xperia 5, this is Sony's new answer to their compact line. Right? The compact line is no longer around but what they were doing with the compact line is over the years, it was basically a flagship that was just made into a smaller version. Uh, so it would be the same processor, the same camera. Uh, the only thing that would get dialed down would be the screen, right? Because it's harder to put a, a more high def screen into a, a smaller body. And the same thing's happening with this. This is only a full HD screen. It's not a quad HD screen. Uh, it's, it's a 6.1 inch screen. And everything else is the same, you know, minus a little bit smaller battery. Uh, but we'll go ahead and get into this. I don't want to bore you talking too much, as I usually do. But that's part of what this channel's about, is, is talking about these companies and the way they do their stuff. So we'll just cut this open here. Just one sticker on this guy. The phone kind of lifts out. The box is kind of tight. Yeah. So yeah, it's been a while since I've had a Sony phone. The last Sony phone I had was the Xperia X Compact which was a version of the compact that people weren't very big on. That was the year that Sony was deciding to kind of make lower end, not lower end, but more mid range, you know, phones, the X line. And it, it didn't go all that well, you know, to be honest. And, and Sony's kind of directed, you know, things a little differently here and there since they brought it back to a, you know, flagship style compact and, I really don't think they sold all that well, so now they're, you know, they're just making us a little bit smaller version, you'll see. So yeah, we lift that off, and here's the phone, all right, okay, so we'll set this to the side for a minute, we'll see what else we get in here, your, your safety guidelines and all that good stuff, how to use the phone, well, they probably don't tell you that, but. And inside, we get the Sony branded power brick, USB-C cable, dongle, very important. Um, on a side note, I know I was talking about how headphone jacks are dead, and Sony, in their infinite wisdom, have decided to bring it back on their next flagship, the Xperia 1 Mark II. Um, very nice of them, you know, honestly. It shows that they were listening to what people had to say about the headphone jack and the people missed it. Um, I could have waited around here for the Xperia 5 uh, Mark II that's probably going to be coming out in September. But basically... I don't want any part of a first gen 5G phone. I remember how it was, the transition from 3G to 4G. 
and I had the Motorola Droid Razor at the time, and the battery just got crushed, and the network wasn't ready, and it just it had problems. So I decided I'm going to stay with the Snapdragon 855 instead of the 865 that's going to be on all the phones this year. Um, I'm okay with that. 5G is not going to be ready for a while, and you know this phone's going to hold up. So uh, what else we got here? Ooh, they give me headphones. Nice. Okay, I didn't expect that. It's uh, that's very nice because I actually do use Sony headphones, but they're little, you know, cheap style ones that I got from uh, Walgreens for about fifteen dollars. Uh, th that I love, to be honest. <laughs> so, uh, here's the phone. All right, as you can see, it's a it's a tall one. They made it narrow, but it's tall. They're going with their twenty-one by nine aspect ratio and this is for the cinematic viewing experience right so what we'll do is let me just take this uh actually the sticker doesn't say anything that's kind of cool okay anyways so we could show that off yeah so this is the phone uh very clean design candy bar i mean if i could say anything it's it's almost like they went from you know, like a like a Nestle Crunch bar, which would be wider and fatter, you know. And now they're kind of like in Hershey bar territory. So, let me take the screen off. The screen plastic. Like that on the side. And it doesn't look like there's. It just looks like stickers. These little stickers. And hey, it was made in Thailand, so there's that. Um, the cool thing that they did here that I noticed right away was the SIM card ejection tool is not needed anymore. What they did was you just pull and it's out. There you go. And that's flimsy. Sony. We'll see how long that's, that holds up. I'd like to think their research and development team thought about that a little bit but we'll find out so I'm gonna go ahead and throw my sim card in right now we'll fire it up so give me one second here sorry you hear my puppy chewing on a bone in the background that's Betsy she hasn't made an appearance yet <laughs> Let's see. Let's see if she wants to one of these days, but it might be a little tough. My little area here is pretty cramped. So what we do is you have to forgive me a little little on the fly here. Goes in like that. Okay, that should be situated. So we'll go ahead and power it up. This one's a little different. Um, you got your volume rocker up top of the fingerprint scanner. Sony likes to do the fingerprint scanner on the side, which I always really, really liked, to be honest. I think it's a really good spot for it. And the power button is below that. And then below that is the shutter key. It's got a half press for focus and a full press to take a picture. Sony's always done this. I don't really use it, but a lot of people really, really like it. So, you know, it's there if you want it. Uh, what I do like that they did was I prefer that they separated the fingerprint scanner from the power button because when I had the X compact, what would happen is it was integrated. So when it was, you always had to, you could never just turn the screen on real quick you know, it, it always just popped open and made you go right into the phone. You could never just kind of get your notifications like you wanted just right off the bat. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go ahead and, uh, he has a nice little bird and a guy standing there, nice cardinal, state bird of Illinois. And we'll say, get started. Yeah, I am aware, I'm also aware that data charges may apply. Uh, yeah, we'll send them diagnostics, why not? 
connect to Wi-Fi here. Uh, one second here. Connect that. I'm checking for updates. This was shipped with Android 9.0. It came out in, <clears throat> let's see, this phone was announced in September at IFA. And it came out uh, in the States here at in early November. So I'm getting this, this is March. So it's been on the market about four months here. I don't want to copy apps, that's okay. Just a sec, I'll be interested to see. I, I don't know, I probably will have to update to get to Android 10. I don't know if they, you know, the newer versions, they, they jumped it. I can't remember how they do that kind of stuff. How they changed it, if they do it anymore. Let's see. Excuse me one second while I sign in here. I want to give you guys a little bit of a, you know, I want to jump in with just the Wi-Fi. I always thought that was a little lazy of people to just kind of, okay. Thanks for bearing with me here. I'm not going to add this person. That's weird. Google's asking me if I want to add my phone number. I don't. Uh, we'll skip that for now. Um, yeah, we'll do it. Screw it. I agree. Because you have to agree to this, to the Google, whatever they say, you're not getting into your phone unless you agree to it, you know, basically. Okay, so it's saying, allow scanning, allow location, backup to Google Drive. You know, this is just if you want to switch phones around. Install updates and apps. Okay. Unlock with fingerprint. Let's see, we'll just do a little backup pin. Okay. So hold your device in a normal way. I'm going to do this on the fly, so you know, hopefully it'll recognize me from behind the camera. It's a little goofy, but, you know, whatever. So we'll hold that. Repeat, repeat, repeat. Move your finger a little bit. It's a little, it's a little strange because it's on the side, so it's a little narrow to deal with. See, they, they're being particular. They want you to move your finger, keep moving. I'm sorry, this is turning into a long unboxing. I'm just starting up. Let's do that. Google Assistant is here, of course. I agree. But yeah, I like the, I like the weight of this. I think it's about 165 grams. It's it's maybe 20 20 grams lighter than the essential phone, which is a heavy phone. This one's all glass. There's no ceramic or anything like that. So, uh, review additional apps. Okay, so they do add a few things. Control info on lock screen. We'll do that later. Okay, so hey, we're ready to go. Celebration. I'm gonna finish. I basically just wanted to get in and show you the the UI a little bit. This is basically a stock affair. Sony, it's been a long time since they put a lot of flourishes on their software. Oh, there is the new system update. Okay, so it's probably gonna make me update to the Android 10, which is fine. And as you can see, pretty basic. It's almost like a like a 
Pixel or Essential Phone, just in terms of you know, basic. There's your pill. You go up, you're into the app drawer. I like this at the bottom. So yeah, that's basically it. I'm gonna go ahead and cut it short here. Uh, it's got the triple camera in the back. You know, you've got your primary camera, your telephoto, and your wide angle, which is a first for me. I've never had a wide angle camera, so that'll be kind of cool to play with. Uh, yeah, that's basically it, guys. Just wanted to show that off, and um, I'll be back with a review uh, probably about a month from now. I think that's the best time you know, to kind of do a review once that you really have the phone for a while. And Oh, uh, one more thing real quick. The LED notification light. I love that. So many, so many manufacturers have gone away from that, and I adore that. That reminds me of old Android, and, and you know, the always-on displays are kind of eh, whatever to me. So, uh, yeah. Anyways, thank you for sticking around. I know this was a long unboxing, but I appreciate everybody who got to the end of this video, and I will talk to you again soon. All right, take care.